hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to insert a droyo diagram in microsoft word let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft word i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go you can insert a Droyo diagram into Microsoft Word by exporting the diagram from Droyo and of course importing it into Word. Now you have two options doing that. Once you are off, off, done with a specific diagram you're working here in Droyo, I want you to go to the file section, click on the save button for now, save it just to make sure that, that all the updates have been uh, implemented correctly. Once you've done that, go to file you might want to export these as a png jpeg webp svg pdf there's a lot uh, vsdx or beta html xml url or advanced but for now what we're going to do is export it as a png all right exporting in png have a multiple options you can choose of these sizes diagram or a page we're going to do with that. You can also have an option for the transparent background or the appearance. Is it going to be light or dark? So it depends on you, right? You can also include in shadow, grid, and include a copy of your diagram for all pages or the current page. So you have that. You can select the zoom of 100% or a border width. That's all up to you. Click the export button. And again, from here, you have two options, all right? You can save it to Google Drive or OneDrive, or OneDrive pick a folder, or Dropbox, depending on your preference. Now, what I'm going to do is download it on a uh, local directory, that's one way, and you click on OK. You see that the file has been downloaded successfully, and then, again, we're going to choose another option later, but for now, we're going back to the Microsoft Word. Now, if you're using Microsoft 365, all you have to do is sign in with your credentials, and then, Inside Microsoft 365, I want you to open Microsoft Word. And then click the uh, blank document from here. We're going to create a new file or document inserting the uh, Droyo diagram here directly. Right? It's a very easy thing to do. Now from here, we're going to type in this. We're going to rename this as this one. I'm going to make sure this have a different uh, font style to make it a little bit like... Um, interactive different color maybe our uh, orange make it center for now and then now the for you to be able to insert the uh, diagram we have created click the insert button and we're going to insert a picture so that's one way all right now from the picture, there is an option here from this device or your computer or OneDrive. So we're going to explore both options. For now, we're going to click the bit of this device. And then once you have inserted that, you see it takes a little while depending on the complexity. And we have successfully inserted the diagram we have created in Droyo here in Microsoft Word. All right. We're going back again to Droyo. What we're going to do is go to the file again. This time we're going to export it uh maybe as a jpeg all right we're going to export again and then now we're going to select onedrive click save what will happen is it would ask you to authorize onedrive to seamlessly integrate your droyo to the onedrive uh, storage cloud storage making it easier to uh, work with workflows, processes, and systems compared to the uh, the switching between platforms, all right? Click the authorize. Of course, it would ask you to log into your account. Just follow the on-screen instructions. And from here, all I have to do is authorize, click on accept, and then once it's successful, it's going to be a lot easier now to seamlessly work to create a clean professional diagrams enhancing the overall presentations of your Word documents. Once it's successful, switch over to your Microsoft Word. And from here, go to the insert button again, go to the picture, all right? 
from OneDrive. Wait for it. Now here, go to my files. As you see, you have an option to insert a Droyo here that was created. Click on it. Click the insert button. Wait for it to load. It takes a little while depending on the complexity of your data and you have successfully inserted the Droyo diagrams both using the local device, the exported uh, PNG, and of course, the diagram via the OneDrive. All right, so another option is we're going to insert the diagram via using this a link instead all right we're going to insert the link right here but what we can do is go again to the uh, droyo just time we're going to the file go to publish and use the link now what will happen is you have an option here for the authorization required public url for the diagram is not public all right what i'm going to do is Click the create button. This is going to be the link. You can preview that if you want. You would be forwarded to this diagram. All that for this, click the authorize button and you'll be successful. Now, next thing is we're going to copy this, right? And then switch over quickly to our Microsoft Word. Here, go to the insert link right here. Going to Click that and the file has been inserted. If you click that, you would be forwarded to this link right here, which is going to be the diagram that leads to your Droyo. Right? If you click that, you would be forwarded here. It's very easy. All you got to do is authorize. Right? Now, the last option for us to be able to insert diagrams here in Droyo is clicking this add-ins. Now, but the add-in only works with the Lucid chart. Right? So basically, um, once you are happy with this all i gotta do is click on the file section you can click the share button you can share this with people all right for example if you're working with multiple freelancers you might want to add them here add your client as well and click the copy link and send it to them right it's very easy now another thing that you can do once you are happy with the uh, inserted draw your diagram here in microsoft for is go to the file section you can export in different file formats such as PDF, PDF with comments, or download as ODT. Or you can create a copy, copy online, which is serves as a backup, or download a physical copy. All right, so what, it's going to be a doc document. Now, on this section here, you can also copy this link to the to this document and send it via email and embed this document whichever you prefer. And also, you have the option to manage access. You can give them uh, a comfort level of access like for example they can uh, start sharing comment and view only and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one